I don't care what you have to do, even if it means walking everywhere and not purchasing anything unless it was bought with a coupon. Find a way to get your hands on a hundred thousand. After that, you can ease off the gas a little bit. Charlie Munger, vice chairman of Berkshire Hathaway. You see, I remember exactly when I made my first hundred thousand dollars, like it was literally yesterday. I remember pulling it out of the bank, smelling it, putting it right in front of me and literally staring at it. In fact, I was so scared to leave it at the bank that I would pull it out of the bank and put it in a safety deposit box because I had so many problems with business and, and, and levies on my accounts, but that's you know a story for a, a different day. I would literally go and check up on my money every single week, pull it out of the safety deposit box, count it, smell it, put it back in and just stare at it all day. It was a surreal thing that I actually had a net worth of $100,000. Now you see, for me, it happened a lot longer than expected because it took me about eight years to make that $100,000 and I made it with my eighth business, which was selling on Amazon. And this was back in 2018. Now you see, it is true. After I had made my first 100,000, life became easier. And in fact, making a lot more money became a lot easier because now I knew how to make 100,000. All I had to do is just double it, triple it, quadruple it, and continue to doing more of it. So in this video, I will share with you the three things that I did that took me from $150,000 in debt to over $100,000 in net worth in under 12 months. So let's get right in. Now you see the very first thing that I did was I cut the fat. And what that means is I looked over all of my expenses, everything that I was doing throughout my entire day-to-day -day life. And I thought to myself, what are some things that I can remove from my life right now that will reduce my expenses and I would still be able to survive. So that was shopping, that was eating out, that was buying anything new that I did not truly need. In fact, what I started doing is, I started putting all of my purchasing decisions through this equation. I would simply ask myself, do I truly need this or do I want this? If I truly need it, I would ask myself, is there an alternative that is actually cheaper than the thing that I'm trying to buy. So for example, if I really needed a brand new pair of sneakers, I would ask myself, number one, do I really need it? And number two, can I get them somewhere that's 10% cheaper, 20% cheaper, 50% cheaper? Not to mention, I created a budget for my life and in that budget, I only had the things that were very important for survival. I'm talking about if I don't have these things, I simply will die. So that was basic food, water, shelter, and so on. And simply removed everything else. And just by doing that, I was actually able to accumulate another 25 to 35% back of money every single month to my bottom line, simply because all that money was being spent on things that I did not truly need, but I just simply wanted. Number two, optimize and maximize. You see, at the time I had just lost my restaurant in 2015 and I was $150,000 in debt. So I was working two jobs. In fact, I picked up a third job on the weekends and that was dishwashing at Hilton Hotels, was driving for Uber and then being a delivery driver for my brother's smoke shop. And I would wake up at six o'clock in the morning. By 6.30, I was on the road filling up gas and on my way to starting Uber. By four o'clock, my shift ended. By five o'clock, I was either at my brother's store or at Hilton Hotels washing dishes. And I simply did that for seven days every single week. And I would go on to working at least 16 to 18 hours every single day for a good chunk of the year. So what that means for you is that if you have a job right now, ask yourself, could I pick up additional shifts at that job? Could I do nights and weekends? If you can't, can you pick up a second job? With Uber the way it is right now, you can pretty much create your own schedule. You can deliver for Instacart. You can do other things while you're off from your main job to building your streams of income. You can even pick up odd jobs such as washing cars, cutting lawn, or really anything. The goal here is to optimize and maximize 
your income generation activities and try to generate as much revenue as possible. Number three, start a side hustle. So the first step is we're cutting the fat. We are simply reducing our expenses to a minimum. The second one, we are increasing our revenue, our top line. Those two combined, you should be able to generate at least another 50 to even potentially 70% more income that would go to your reserves and then what you do is you take that additional income that you now have and then you start putting it into this vehicle and that vehicle is really what's going to help you get to your hundred thousand dollars in the next 12 months now what you want to do is you want to make sure that you pick something that has no ceiling and also that could be done preferably online because if you're doing what i'm suggesting here your schedule is going to probably be all over the place and you're not going to be very flexible. So for example, for me, I picked up selling on Amazon because I can operate it from anywhere in the world and I could do it regardless what time of the day it was. And in fact, I would do it in between shifts to my three jobs. I would even open up my laptop, connect HubSpot to it when I was waiting for the next call, when I was driving for Uber and literally every other waking moment that I wasn't doing my other three jobs, I was spending on building my side hustle. Now, if you're wondering, how do I find the right side hustle that fits my needs and my lifestyle? Well, what I like to do is I like to go into this thing I call the discovery phase. And that's pretty much where you take about three, four months of your life, you pick three to five things that you could be interested in, and you pretty much try to test the waters per se and try them each. Now you could do them all side by side each other and spend about three to four months on each of them until you find the one thing that you can resonate with. And I always like to say this, for you to find the one thing you wanna ask yourself, do I see myself sticking to this one thing for the next 18 to 24 months? If the answer is yes, then ask yourself this. If after one to two years, if this thing goes nowhere, will I regret the last two years? If the answer is no, then you know you have found the right thing, you want to go after it. And now what you do is you take all the money that you have accumulated from the first two action steps and invest them all into your side hustle and simply continue to reinvest all of your profits back into your side hustle because you want to continue growing it. And although these three steps sound very simplistic, but trust me when I say it is a lot simpler than you think. I believe a lot of people have just complicated the concept of making money. They have so many things happening in their minds, holding them back, which is what makes people overanalyze every single action they take, which unfortunately paralyzes us into taking action and moving forward. These are the three simple steps that I took that helped me go from $150,000 in debt to making my first $100,000 in under 12 months and I know you can too. Now, if you've enjoyed this video, then I know you'll enjoy this other video that I created a couple of weeks ago about the thing that the 1% do not want you to know. So head on there and click on that video and I will see you there.